You are here right now to watch me assassinate this man, the president of Los Santos. Here we go. Oh my God, the headshot. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, make sure you guys punch that like button because today we're gonna be killing the president of Los Santos. I gotta be super careful with the choice of words here of what we decided to say because I don't want to be raided by the FBI. Now we have reports that the president is located at Los Santos International Airport. Now check this out, dude. Apparently he's over here, like in this area somewhere. He's landed recently and the speech he's gonna be going ahead and taking place in is later on tonight. So we gotta go scope out the scene. We gotta go figure out what we're getting ourselves into and what better way of doing so than going ahead and posing as a police officer. We're gonna go as a highway patrolman and we are simply gonna cruise up to the airport. We're not gonna look like a big suspect because we are blending in very nicely. We got our beautiful Los Santos Blaine County outfit. So we're gonna look good. Now my maid has just seen my outfit, but she's sort of dumb. She doesn't know what I'm doing. She thinks I'm actually a police officer in real life, even though I just kill people. Because I'm an assassin. I'm an assassin, dudes. One of the world's best. Let's head over to the airport. So we've got our bike. Let's go ahead and head to the airport. Now, I feel like it's gonna be super easy for us to go ahead and just fit in. It won't be any problems. Cause look at this. We look like official police officers. No one's gonna question us. No one's gonna be like, you're not a real cop. Look at this. Even the front of my window says police. All right, so we have just arrived at the airport. And luckily enough for us, they think we're police officers. We cleared the first checkpoint. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy and let's figure out what's going on here. So we got some helicopters taking off and this is just like your traditional airport area. Now, I'm not sure if later on tonight we should go ahead and pose as a police officer again when we go ahead and do the assassination or we should go more stealthy. There's a lot of options we can choose from. We can go as like an airport employee. We can go as a police officer. We can go as a few things. We gotta be careful. We don't, we don't wanna draw too much attention to ourselves as it seems like we are approaching the area of where this, uh, where the president is. So as you guys can see, there's a lot, there's a huge convoy here, like a really big like presidential convoy. I'm gonna flip on my lights. What up guys? Hey, how you guys doing? Just don't, uh, Gary Berry here, Officer Gary Berry. Holy jeez, dudes. They, they just let me on by, no problem. Let's go and turn off our siren. I think it's a little bit loud. And look at this, dudes. We belong here, guys. This is, this is us. Sorry. Sorry, I just got here, guys. I'm a little bit late. Had a rough day, you know. It was rough, all right? Thanks for waiting for me, guys. All right, let's see what's going on here. So, how many officers do we got? This is a lot of people. Holy, why did I take this mission? I feel like a John Wick right now, having to go ahead and take out all these dudes. You know what, guys? I am John Wick. John Wick the Assassin. That's who I am. We got these random lady reporters. Are these reporters over here, I think? Yeah, it looks like they're reporters. Not sure what they're doing. Maybe just waiting for uh, the, the speech to take place. Like, this is a super official presidential convoy. Like, there, I don't know how many people there are here, but oh, they got whole, they got whole, like, camera crews. Oh my. Let's not run too much. All right, so that's the president right there. Um, he's leaving an Adios Airlines. And uh, I don't know how we're going to do that. Now, we got to be super careful. We got dudes with binoculars. We got people watching towards the beach. So we can't do a beach assault. We got guys uh, on top of these trucks up here checking out in the front in that building. We got a binocular guy over here. So if I had one place I wanted to attack from, it looks like I'm going to have to do it from right over there. Now, for whatever reason, security is pretty weak on this part of the airport. I don't know exactly why. So let's jump right back on our bike real quick. And let's go check this out. So we got one guy here, but he's he's scanning the lower end. He's scanning the lower end. We got one officer here. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go in silent but deadly. Sniper rifle. High point. Um, at night, I don't think we'll be able to climb that. It's too close. We gotta go a pretty good distance. I was hoping we can climb that uh, airport tower, but I don't think it's possible. It's just, it just won't be possible, especially with the time that we had to do this in. It, we can't get the schematics for it. You guys know, the details are rough. Let's go ahead and drive around this area to see exactly what we're working with and look at this, dudes. Look at this. Now, we got this ladder here, which will take us up there. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we might be able to get away with climbing it now. I don't think anyone will say anything if we climb it now, and that's the beauty of us having this police officer uniform right now. I do see some cameras over here, so if we do do this, we're gonna have to come through through here. Really undetected, no cameras in any visible area here. So we won't be able to go from that way. Like, we can't come from this way. We gotta come from this 
direction. And there's an emergency fuel shut off up here. So we're looking good. We're looking good. If we want to pull off this presidential assassination, I think this is going to be the spot and the place to do it. It's going to be a high point of view where they might not even be able to see us. We're so far away. And honestly, I think we can get a nice like shot right here. I think honestly, this would be a very, very nice shot if we could pull it off. Let's go ahead and quickly see what's going on over here. These snipers, we got some guys with binoculars over there. No one's really gonna notice we're even zooming in right now because we're so far away. Like for whatever reason, no one's looking in this direction. And I don't know why. We should have a good clear shot. We shouldn't run into any problems, but with every single assassination, we're gonna need a backup plan. We're gonna need a way out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, we can go higher. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got a few options here. We can go higher. Didn't even realize this was here, to be honest. And the sun is setting. It's getting a little bit dark out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so escape plan. Let's think of one. If I had to get out of here in a super duper hurry, I'm thinking helicopters the way out. That's the only thing I can see really, really being plausible here. Or we have a car waiting for us down there somewhere over there in that direction. And we, we just drive out. Hopefully... They don't close the gates and we just simply drive off into the sunset. No one noticing even happened. It would be bing, bang, boom. Everyone's dead. Garrett did it and we would collect our paycheck. Now, the only downside to this, I don't know how far we can possibly get and, and how much information they'll have on the person that did it, which would be me. So if I were to take them out from here, I feel like we're, we're a little bit more exposed. We're actually a lot. We're very, very exposed. We would have to come like on this side to do it, which would be a little bit more difficult, in my opinion. Um, I think we're, we might be better off doing it down below than uh, where we were before, because up here, it seems like it's just not possible. It seems like it's just not possible to do this right now, right here. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and... Uh, get down from here and we are simply going to go ahead and probably take the shot from the lower level now let me know in the comment section guys what plan would you take to go ahead and pull this off it's going to take a lot of planning a lot of figuring out but luckily enough i have you the awesome viewers to help me and guide me through this crazy los santos assassination anytime we do these types of videos i always look for your feedback viewer feedback so of course leave your suggestions down below if you guys think i should do it differently if you guys think i should have gone ahead and done some kind of explosion or use an rpg or use a minigun or done it right up close and personal like right in front of everyone let me know down below so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and wait until nightfall we're gonna get into our proper attire and then we are simply going to go ahead and pull this assassination off hopefully successfully hopefully we do it let's get to it let, let, let's do this the sun is setting i need to quickly change get into my stealth type of i guess clothing and then from there we need to head very quickly back to the airport and pull this off i think the stealth clothing here will work very nicely especially during the night could go with something like the spec ops which i think i might do i think I might, this might work a little bit better and then do like uh some kind of mask over me and it's like let me see not a red hockey mask let's do like um like a beanie of some sort so nighttime is approaching we have our look let me go ahead and pull over really quickly so i give you guys the full rundown of what's about to happen now we have to get into the airport without anyone noticing we're gonna have to use a silence pistol to go ahead and pull off this quick mission now the first job that we're gonna have to go ahead and do is take out the guard watching the gate i went ahead and chose this all black armored benefactor to go ahead and pull this mission off because i feel like this is really gonna do the trick it is upgraded it has turbo it has level four, like the engine's amazing, transmission, all that stuff. But our biggest threat right now is just getting inside the airport without anyone realizing, especially because it is turning sundown. There's planes landing at the airport, so let's waste no more time and head there right now. So I'm simply gonna leave my car right here for right now. Now, the main objective of this is to go ahead and get rid of this guard that's watching this first gate. Now, I do look pretty suspicious wearing all black and a beanie. This is an airport and hopefully he doesn't say anything about it, but the president is here. So we got that one cop right there. Now, that's the only cop that I'm worried about out of everyone here. This car will be the only one causing me problems. So I'm quickly just gonna go ahead and take him out. No questions asked, he's gonna go ahead and really just... That might cause a little bloodshed, but it's okay. They'll think it's paint. I should have really been cleaner about it. Shouldn't have put the blood there. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's drop him off. So I think about like right here is okay. I'm not really sure where else to put him because there's no really any other area, but just to be sure and be safe, we're quickly just gonna run over to these firefighters that for some reason didn't see anything. 
God dang. All right, we should be good there. Don't think anyone heard that, hopefully. Uh, we should be all right. I'm not sure, though. I really, really don't know. Took out the guard. Took out the fireman. Now the time has come. No parking. I'm gonna park here. This is the only good spot we can get to go ahead and take out this president. As many of you guys know, for Los Santos, he hasn't done much. So we're gonna be going up this ladder, and this will be our final stop. Now, the biggest problem I see with this whole assassination mission is I don't know exactly what happens to someone that assassinates a president. Now, as you guys know, over here we have tons and tons of police officers. I mean, ridiculous amounts. We gotta stay super, super hidden, and we know that the president is right there. Now, what I don't know is how far I can even shoot to get him. And to be honest, I don't think I can use this sniper rifle with a suppressor. We might have to go ahead and use the heavy sniper rifle so we can go ahead and reach this man. He is so far, and I want to make sure I get a good shot on him. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, want to drop a like, this is the time to do it because the reason you are here right now is to watch me assassinate this man, the president of Los Santos. The target has been acquired. The mission is about to be completed. All that's left to do is for me to go ahead and pull the trigger. Here we go. Oh my God, the headshot. The Oh, I got stars. Oh, no. The shot that can be... Oh! Oh! My God! President is down! And I think they see me. Oh, they definitely know where I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get the heck out of here quick. Oh, not that quick! Oh! Good. Go get up, 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 get up. We gotta go ahead and just drive out of here. They'll never suspect anything, guys. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, dudes, definitely not a part of the plan, but here we go. We gotta do this. Hello? Oh god, oh god, oh, we gotta get the hell out of here, dudes. We just assassinated the president, and I think we might easily be able to get away. Okay, we're good, let's get the hell out of here! We got all these cops on us, oh no. We out, we out of here, we out of here. Oh god, luckily enough, we have this armored vehicle. It's about to be a full-on police chase right now. God dang it, dude. This is not looking good. Oh, they even have roadblocks. Oh, great. Oh, God. We should have really devised a solid plan to go ahead and get the heck out of Los Santos. I'm thinking the best place to go, the best place to hide out is the docks. Let's head to the docks. I feel like if we can get to the docks, we'll be good to go. We can hide on one of the ships. They won't find us. We'll, we'll hide in one of the little rooms they have on the ships. Oh, they brought in the SWAT, of course. Oh, God, I'm stuck. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, God, I missed the turn. I missed the freaking turn, dudes. We should be good, though. We should be all right. We should be all right. We can easily get out of here. No problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You gotta look at the bright side. We, we completed the job. It was freaking beautiful. The execution was, I wouldn't say flawless, but we did it. I think that's what's most important about this whole thing. We were able to go ahead and somewhat assassinate the president. He is dead, um, but we have all of those Santos currently looking for us, and oh god. I think they're on to where we're going, guys. They know where we're going. We're going towards the docks. We want to go ahead and, and create as little noise as possible. Dang, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I meant by little noise, guys. That's definitely not what I it's looking good so far. If we can make it to these docks, we should be safe. We should be safe. Hopefully, they don't have cops in the water. If they have cops in the water or cops waiting for us here. Oh, they're waiting for us at the port. They're waiting for us. Oh, they blocked off the port. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. Definitely not good. Let's stop this guy from chasing us real quick. Slowly but surely, we're losing them right here, guys. Uh, actually, there might be cops here. Is there a... Uh, hopefully, there's no one here at the checkpoint. Hey, what up? You guys didn't see anything. You guys didn't see anything. You, you guys have no idea what's happening. Oh, God. Oh, God. They have no idea I'm here. Oh, don't honk quickly. Sorry about the camera thing. I didn't realize but now I realize and now the cops are landing their helicopters looking for me And for some reason they don't even see me in this car, but I'm hidden right in front of them and uh oh Oh, no We should have definitely thought this through more. Yeah, I definitely I, I definitely should have driven away. Oh my god I'm so bloody and gross. I know what I did wrong. I feel like I should have driven away I shouldn't have stayed in that one van I thought I was able to get away from them with my car and then switching cars would throw them off But I left my car right there and I think that was my biggest flaw You guys are probably gonna call me stupid in the comment section because first my camera died and then this happened and now <sighs> 
I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I failed you, but in the reality of things, I feel like we had a very successful mission. If you guys enjoyed this presidential assassination, make sure you guys drop the video a like. If you guys want any other mods added to this Hitman mod that I made, let me know in the comment section. Right now, we have the drag body mod. We have the uh, bullet cam, which I think is super awesome. That's what you guys saw happen when I shot the president. It's this right here. It just, like, it creates a, a bullet cam that you can easily see, like, a different perspective of you killing somebody which i think is freaking awesome so if you guys have any other suggestions you want to add to this mod or if you have any other suggestions of different videos you think i should make on the channel make sure you guys leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for all the support and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video and subscribe if you're not subscribed because you watch all the way to the end you have to like me or sort of like me i don't know Bye.